Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be here today to do another video for you. Uh, in today's DIY, of course, is going to be another mirror wall decor. So I will tell you what exactly is needed for this DIY. So what I did, I took the liberty, um, I took a board. It's uh, actually I'm using this new material, it's called a particle board. And we get sheets and we cut them up uh, to 18 inches, 16 inches, and so forth. I could do square ones and whichever. So I took the liberty of painting it. It's a um, turquoise color. And I took a 12 inch mirror and I glued it on top so it'll save time to make this DIY a little faster. So I'll let you know what exactly I'm going to be using in this DIY today. Um, it's going to be a diamond wrap. Uh, they call it uh, rhinestone mesh. Uh, so it's silver. And I have my sunflower mesh. Uh, these are actually really, really, really beautiful. And I cut them up in small, in individual pieces. So what I did is... Um, I took the rhinestone mesh and I measured it five, five all the way around. And I took the sunflower and I glued it on top of the diamond wrap. So it makes it very, very uh, pretty, you see. And then we have um, my beads to go around the mirror. It's silver. And then I have my teardrop shapes. And then I have a little black bead that go all around. And then I have also little uh, acrylic gems, the transparent ones. I have that to go also around the mirror. And I also have these little pieces here. These are called, um, it's faux mirrors. So what I get those is from these platters from the Dollar Tree. So these things are wonderful because half of my decors are made uh, with this. So you could use it on this side or you could use it on this side. So it all depends what you want to do. So which is really, really wonderful. And what I do is I take from the internet the geometry forms and I cut them up. And sometimes I also put on top of that, um, um, not a foam board, but a poster board. So I glue it on top just to give it, you know, a different color, um, a little bling. Uh, sometimes it all depends on the decor that I'm doing. So what I took, I did is I took the Liberty. My geometry form was this shape here. You see, it's like a diamond shape. So what I did is the two angles here all across, I cut it. So it's just a triangle. That's all it is. And I'm going to put this all around. So, and on top of that, I'm not even using the silver part. I'm going to be doing the black part. So on turquoise, it'll, it's, it's nice. You will see it's going to be black and silver. So once it's done, it's going to be very, very pretty. So what I'm going to do is, um, and then of course I have my hot glue gun and my glue sticks. And with this, deco with this design, um, I actually use... Because this is um, plastic on board, which glues fabulously. So I'm going to use my, um, my glue sticks, just the regular ones. I don't have to use the Gorilla Glue for these. Just the regular ones is fine. And then I have uh, my ruler. Oh yes, this is another thing I'm, I must mention. With this decor here... I have 24 pieces of this and I have to go all around and of course when I do my uh, mirror decors I measure everything so everything is pre-measured everything has to coordinate across sideways everything so what I did is I I put my 24 pieces and I measured it not from the starting of the ruler but right at the zero point and I went to one inch and there's four lines. So I think it's one sixteenth, 
yes it's one inch one sixteenth so basically this is what I'm going to put all the little pieces those little black pieces all around and these pieces here are going to be like this here they're going to be going right at they're going to be glued right at the edge all the way around so um and another thing i should also mention that by gluing these ones this is this you got to be very very careful gluing these things it all depends on where you're gluing them what happens is if you're using the hot glue gun, which I found out when I did a decor for someone, when you're using the hot glue gun on these things, when you glue it, it's going to appear. And it's funny because I, I can do it on the gold. There's actually gold platters like this. And these are silver ones. I never, I never found another different color yet. Um, so what happens is when you do the glue, if you glue it on the silver side with the black, you'll be okay because the design is not going to show the little bumps. And the gold is not too, too bad either, which is really, really, really good. But for some reason, when you do the silver, when you put the glue under and you have the silver on top, um, I find you have little bumps on it. And I don't know why, it's just with this one. And I found out with the glue gun, it doesn't go very well because if you want a smooth surface when you do a decor that's very very important so with these things i'm going to glue with super glue and this i get at the dollar tree so this is what i'm going to be gluing it with so i just wanted to let you guys know that and when i glued my mirror i used e6000 of course always i always use my e6000 or i use my other one uh, which is a silicone one it's an industrial one so you could use either or whichever you prefer I think I just ran out of the other one <laughs> so I've used this one today and of course I always add my hot glue on top of that so it makes sure that it's it's staying put okay so um, please subscribe and comment and give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that and I hope everybody likes this DIY today uh, it's going to be very very pretty because I tried it out before and it came out really really nice so without further ado let's get started so of course like I had said I took the liberty of painting this turquoise I glued my mirror my next step is going to be my beads so I'm going to glue this all around my mirror and I will see you when I'm done. All right, welcome back. And this is what it looks like with just the beads. I know it's very simple and plain, but um, it's gonna get prettier and prettier as we go along. So basically this is what it looks like. So now my next step is going to be the triangles. So as I said prior to this, I'm going to glue it right at the edge. Oops. I'm going to glue it right at the edge here. See that it's going to be at all at the edge and it's going to be there's 24 pieces and it's going to go all around and as I mentioned earlier remember it's uh, 1 16th so just a little over an inch each um, it's between the triangles and I will do that and I will see you at the end of this session <laughs>
All right, welcome back everyone. I know this is a long process, so uh, to do these all around, it would take you a good, between 10 and 15 minutes at least, but this is what it was going to look like. So it's gonna come out really, 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 really nice. So my next step is, I have these little um, teardrop shape. So what I'm going to, where I'm going to put them is going to be right on top, just below my beads, but it's going to be um, diagonal to my um, triangle. So as I'm going to place them, it's going to be on top here and is going to be face, the little tip of the, is going to match this. So I'm going to do that all around, all the 24 of them, and I will see you when I'm done that. All right, welcome back one more time. <clears throat> so I took the liberty of putting the teardrop pointing with the triangle. And basically this is what it looks like right now. So it's turning out really, really, really cute. So now my next step is going to be uh, my little square diamond mesh. And where I'm going to put that is going to be right center in the middle. So basically it's going to be in the middle of here. And you have to do a triangle shape. So the points is going to be up and down and side by side. So basically this is how I'm going to be doing it. And it's going to be right smack in the center between, I would say, the end, the tip of the teardrop and just basically uh, maybe about two centimeters from the tip of the triangle so basically this is where it's going to be and you will see it at the end so I'm going to do all the 24 of them and I will see you at the end of this All right, welcome back everyone. And this is what it looks like right now uh, with the rhinestone. It's coming out really, 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 really nice. As you can see from close. I don't want it to be blurry, but uh, see that? It's coming out beautiful. It's starting to shine a little bit. So now my next step is going to be these black little beads. There's two more steps. So I have the black little beads and I got the small little transparent beads. So the black one, oh, I should also mention, when I glued everything, I glued it with my hot gun. When I did the triangles, I did it with the super glue. I just want to let you know that. And with, of course, all my little beads, I do with my hot gun. And it, it just goes a lot, a lot faster. 
So where I'm going to put the black little beads is going to be right here and is going to go with the point of the uh, silver diamond wrap. So I'm going to put it right here, right in the middle of the two triangles and right below the, uh, the tip of the uh, diamond wrap. And I'm going to do this all around and I will see you right at the end. All right, everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> so I put the black little beads. And I have to mention, you have to be really, be really careful when you do uh, mirror decors. It all depends on the colors that you use um, for the base. Because everything shows, like if you're going to do the hot glue gun, you have to make sure that you wipe all of that if you're going to sell it. So that's very, very important. Uh, make sure all the glue is off. <laughs> so basically this is what it looks like right now I'm sure you can see this see with the black beads all around came out really 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 pretty so I have one more um, step before the final product is done and is going to be with the transparent beads so these little transparent beads where I decided to put that is going to be right in the middle of the two um, teardrop and it's going to be pointing right of the diamond wrap mesh so it's going to be right smack in the middle of the two all of all the teardrops and I'm going to do this all around and then after that we're going to be done and I will see you at the end of this round <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. This is the finale, the final product, and this is basically what it looks like. So what, as you see, I put the little black beads right on the bottom, and I put the little transparent one right at the top of the diamond wrap. So basically, this is what it looks like. Turned out pretty good, really nice. And this is what it is with the mirror decors you have to really it's all about coordination all your color coordinated and if you have uh, color coordination you will have beautiful mirrors every time so I think it turned out pretty good close So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this DIY today, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, that's very important, and I will see you on my next DIY. Thanks everyone, and have a great day. Bye for now.